Yeah, I think I'm on fire. Yep. All sensor. Wow. Okay. Anyway, that is wow. Terrible. Terrible. I hate to see that happen. And uh man, I'm not trying to put nobody on blast here, but uh as you guys know, man, I always try to uh, make videos based on, uh, you know, stuff I see happening. And man, I can't tell you how many motors I've heard burning up in the last couple days. All right, so I'm going to make this real simple. Without going into too much detail about the turn ratios and all that. Basically, you know, a lower turn motor has a higher RPM with less torque. Where a higher turn motor has more torque and less RPM. Okay? That is uh, the outcome of the turns. We're not going to discuss why that is. That's a whole nother video. We'll get deep into that. But for right now, I just want to explain why a five-turn motor is easier to burn up than the two-turn motor, all right? Now, if you were thinking that, uh, and it doesn't even work like this, honestly. I used to think that a five-turn motor had actually five turns of wire around it. That's not completely true. It all determines on how many strands of this wire is in there and all that depends on the turn ratio etc but bottom line is obviously if a motor is a lower turn like a 2t it can have a lot more strands of wire now this is raw copper wire it has a plastic coating on it but there are a whole bunch of single strands together to make that bundle of wires that wraps around those iron plates that uh, creates your turns all right that bundle of wires so the lower the turn the more single wires there are and most and you know there's a chart for this Okay, so in like a two-turn motor, it may be 60, 70 single strands of this wire. Because it's not as many turns, you can have more strands of this wire, all right? Now imagine, if you're doing more turns, obviously that can't be as thick, all right? So, for a higher turn motor instead of that 60 70 strands of that wire you can only have 20 25 30 strands of that wire so that means the gauge of this coil wire is going to be thinner in a in a higher turn motor so a 5t motor is going to have a thinner gauge of this coil wire this cold bundle of wire all right so just like your phase wires if you have a thin phase wire obviously not a whole lot of phase amps can go through that wire because it's thin all right that's why in order to run a lot of phase amps you have to have thick phase wires at the same time when these phase wires 
reach the inside of your motor as you can see on this motor right here the phase wire attaches right to that bundle of wires okay and uh, it's pretty much the same gauge on this motor as the actual phase wire itself all right it's the same thickness all right now like i said on a 5t motor that bundle of wires is a lot thinner so the motor the actual motor wire the coils can handle as much current as a lower turn motor a 2t motor motor this group of wires would be a lot thicker so it can handle more current that is why it's easier to burn up a higher turn motor than it is a lower turn motor lower turns can handle more current higher turns uh, can't handle as much current and you know that's that it's just physics as to why it can't now I suggest you guys don't even get 5t motors nowadays you know that's getting a higher turn motor is kind of like an old school thing because uh, you know technology as far as e-bikes has advanced a lot in the last couple years a lot of us has only been doing e-bikes for the last couple years you know but there are some ogs in the game that was e-biking 10 15 years ago now 10 15 years ago they didn't have all these high power controllers like we have now you know, they had old school uh, Sabatons that were only 100 DC line amps, uh, three to 500 phase amps, nothing like what we have now, far drivers, 1800 phase amps, and ASI, 800 phase amps, you know, you have a lot more power now. But back then, when you were only limited to a certain amount of power, uh, they had to make choices in terms of their motor. They could go with a higher turn motor, and that would give them more torque and more acceleration. Or a lower turn motor, it would be less torque, but higher RPMs. But they couldn't compensate for the torque because they didn't have the power. But nowadays, because we have the power, we can get a lesser turn motor, all right, which is going to have a higher RPM. We ain't worried about the less torque that the motor can produce because we can actually put more power to the motor because we have more power to deliver. So it's not an issue anymore. So I recommend that you guys get a lower turn motor instead of getting these 5T motors, all right? I just explained to you, five turn motor is gonna have a really thin gauge of cold wire. It's gonna be easier to burn up. And uh, this heat and these high temperatures, that ain't helping. Especially if you ain't monitoring your pack temps, I mean, uh, your motor temps. And I mean, your pack temps too. When it's hot like it is now, man, you just gotta, you gotta be more observant. You gotta pay attention to your bike, man. You just can't be out there dogging your bike, putting it under a lot of stress and, and you know, not paying attention to what's happening. If you see your motor temperature is going up in the red or up super crazy high, 150, 160 degrees, you know, you need to pull over and let shit cool down. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have some problems. Shit going to burn. And once you burn up these coals, once you burn that plastic coating off and the dead short up in there, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So, you don't want to do that. And let me tell you something. Uh, like that video I was watching, what happens when, uh, even though this is a good motor, I can't spin it now because the dust cover is not on there. But uh, if this were sitting on a wheel stand, you could just spin the motor freely, right? But you know when you short out, 
when you short out the phase wires like that even with no power if you just touch the phase wires together that uh, pretty much locks the motor not totally locked but puts a lot of resistance on it because uh, it's going to make uh, the magnets uh, you know attract a little bit it's going to put a lot of resistance on the wheel there's a law for that I forgot the name of the law it starts with a K right now I can't think of it but uh, somebody's doing it in the comment section now I'll think of it later but uh, yeah when you touch the phase wires together it automatically uh, is going to stop the free wheel of the motor a little bit but all right y'all that's it 5T motors are a lot easier to burn up bam